There's this common idea that singles don't build muscle. You'll often hear that reps of one are purely for strength training, whereas bodybuilding requires higher volume. And although I understand the thinking behind this, the analysis and conclusion is factually incorrect. So let me clarify the details right now. I'll first say that there is no magical rep range. You can build muscle with low reps, high reps, and varying percentages and set rep parameters. What matters most in the long run is consistent progressive overload. And these little details a lot of guys debate about are often insignificant. So what matters most in the context of training for size versus strength is specificity of training within the exercise selection itself and the relative performance that you gain. It's not that you are separating size from strength. Rather, it's a ratio. That is the distinction that people don't talk about. They think it's black and white. If you're in the one to three rep range, that's all about the CNS. You're not building any muscle with that. Whereas 15 to 20 is pure size, but you're not getting stronger whatsoever. This reductionist thinking needs to die because it's killing the fitness community. Although I will say that the science world has made great progress in bringing awareness to the fact that you can build muscle with weights as low as 35% in addition to 80% plus. And actually Jeff Nipper made a really good video on that exact subject, which you could check out right here. Anyway, going back to the topic, when we dive into the specifics, we start to realize that it has everything to do with efficiency, not separation. Doing a 1x1 bench is so inefficient that in order to gain a noticeable amount of size, you would have to increase your training frequency such that you're either doing it every day or at least every other day, or you're working up to more than one attempt, maybe 85, 90, 95, then 100%. This way it adds up. You're not just doing one single and just leaving. Although most of us don't really train like that. So there's the workload itself that you build up to when you're actually doing the one rep itself, right? So there's that, but also like the volume is what matters here. Even when we incorporate things like high sets of reps, 10 sets of one is not superior to two sets of 10 with a much lighter load. That's why for hypertrophy training, guys recommend the classic approaches or even doing a five by 10. So just because that is true and probably optimal, doesn't mean that low reps don't build muscle. To say that they don't is an absolute lie. And you should never listen to anyone who says that they don't build any size whatsoever because at some point it will be impossible to separate the size and strength gain. And let me also say that muscle maintenance is easy to achieve with low reps in general because we already know that the maintenance volume is significantly lower than our maximum recoverable volume. And this explains why guys don't get smaller when they run strength training routines. They might lose their work capacity. They might not look as full, but the muscle mass itself remains because they're maintaining it with such a low volume. And heck, some guys do actually get bigger long-term, specifically those who run Bulgarian light systems. If you're doing one set of squats every single day for the next year, you think that's not gonna add up? You gotta stop living in that weekly mindset bubble or the workout mindset bubble. It's not about what you do today. It's what you do after many months, the accumulated volume. We can say all day that 10, 20 sets a week is the way to go. And you know what? I'm in full agreement. This is what I recommend. This is how I train. I'm not one to subscribe to black and white thinking. But for those who come to me for advice, who ask me, Alex, can I not build muscle just by doing reps of one on the bench? I'm satisfied with my chest size. Am I going to completely stop my muscle progress by doing this? My answer would have to be no. At some point, your chest will get bigger, even if you're only doing singles. In fact, a lot of the old school strong men and just old school lifters in general did tons of singles, but you couldn't separate the elements. And when we dive into additional approaches like speed work, especially when doing singles with a higher percentage, bro, you're gonna build all kinds of muscle. Don't tell me that 20 sets of one on a deadlift won't get you bigger over time. Come on, bro, it absolutely will especially if you're doing the accommodating resistance on top of it. And that's another thing that guys don't talk about. These high percentages, you're getting the upper threshold fibers right off the bat. That's why it goes both ways and saying, we have a myth that you need to lift heavy weights to be very jacked. It makes sense why people say this, but they don't understand the reasoning behind this and that you can still get those higher threshold fibers with lighter loads, just that you need to push yourself hard enough. You have to get close to failure. That is the definitive distinction here. Does that make sense, guys? If you wanna build muscle with reps of one, it's recommended that you up those sets and frequency this way at the end of the week or many weeks, that volume accumulation is adding up and you're still inducing progressive overload. You're getting those high threshold muscle fibers. So if you do 10 to 20 sets of one, good job, but we have to agree that it's far less efficient than doing three sets of eight to 12. 
it's going to be a lot quicker and easier on your recovery to do so. But understand that you cannot separate the size from strength elements. And long term, you're going to see exactly what happens. And this is why things tend to even out for powerlifters, strongmen, bodybuilders, the natural ones. You look at a guy who's been training for 20 years, I don't care what his specialization is. He's probably going to be close to his maximum genetic size, even if bodybuilding was not the objective. Most of these athletes tend to look quite similar after some time. So think about that too. It's not about what we do today. It's about the accumulation over time. So that's it. Do I recommend a more bodybuilding type program if your goals are purely size? Yeah, I do. But let's keep it real. You can still build muscle with low reps. And in some cases, it makes more sense. Like in the case of doing speed pulls. All right, so stop stressing. You're not going to get small. And if you want the best of all worlds, why not just do it all? High reps, low reps, the in-betweens. That's what I like to train for. This way, we're complete. We got maximum size and strength with the endurance and health benefits to go with it. So that's how I like to do things, but you do you. Just know that a lot of the fear-based ideologies that exist out there are not true. And I just want you to know that in today's video.